Hello guys, Ryan here once again, and now this deck, as you can see, is OTT, but I've never actually recorded this deck before, and it is my Tsukiyomi deck. Now, one thing I will say about this deck is, it mainly loses by deck out. That's the main loss of this deck. <laughs> See, they lose by deck out or kill with Toms. Even with G guards and all that, Tom is still very powerful for this deck. But anyway, the starter, God Hawk Kichibiyoshi. At the beginning of your ride phase, search top 5 for grade 1. If you find it, ride it. And then stack the cards, the rest of the cards, on bottom of your deck in any order. Basically, stack and draw. That's all this deck does. So onto the triggers. Four psychic birds to help dig through the stack more, and because it's crit. And then another four crit, followed by another four crit. So twelve crit. Because you need ways to pressure, and if you're gonna stack your triggers, why not go for triple crit? Next up. Mandatory three heals. I just like the different artworks, and that will actually come into play later on. Then we've got four perfect guards. I rather run the oldens because I can then protect Tom with it. It's always worth protecting Tom if need be. For the grade one of the right chain, four. Of the Crescent Moon, it you. Yeah, I forgot the name. Goddess of the Crescent Moon, Tsukiyomi. Which you basically check top five beginning you ride for the grade two. Put rest on bottom of your deck in any order. Next grade one, we have four Virtuous Housekeeper. On place, counter blast one, check top five for Tsukiyomi, add it to hand, so it could be a one, a two, or a three, and then put them cards on bottom of your deck in any order. Great for stacking your deck, even more. And we have three of the 8k vanilla for the Tom Columns. Got to hit 16, and two of a stride fodder. Now, I prefer to have one signed and one not because. Thing is with this, having different ones means you can easily tell more when you hit your stack. That's how I like to do it. So if say that's in my top, on my first check of my stack, I put that top, then start lining triggers. Because then I know as soon as I draw that, then I'm hitting my stack. Just a little easy way to help out remembering. Three of a grade two Tsukiyomi. So they went road on top of grade one. Soul Charge 2, then join your ride phase at some Vanguard, check top 5 for grade 3, and stack the rest. And then 4 Toms, different artwork again to help memorise the stack, makes it a bit easier. Then we have 2 of the oh, Diviner Kuro Ikazuchi. Boosted attacking Vanguard, can't blast one draw one. And no, which one is it? One, if I can get it close enough. It's not going to focus, but one of them is SP. So again, able to know when your stack starts. The last grade two, I have two shrewd concept claw. If you have a Suki with Vanguard, gains 2k when attacking. A vanguard, is it? No, it's just whenever it attacks. As long as you've got a vanguard with Tsukiyomi, it gains 2k. It's other skill, if it hits. Does it update vanguard? Yeah, if it hits vanguard, counter blast one, check top five for Tsukiyomi, add it to hand and stack the rest. Even more stacking. And then lastly, grade four, grade three, sorry, four, goddess of a full moon, Tsukiyomi. No other grade three needed in this deck. Now onto the strides. Now this deck hasn't really got many good first strides unless you get a pretty decent hand. So first up we've got four moon deity who governs the night, Tsukiyomi, which is its skill. At 
Soul Charger, Sneaky Omi, Unflip a Copy, Check Top 5, Add 2 Tan, Step Versed on Bottom. So again, more stacking and you get to add two, any two cards you want. Next up, we have 4, Takami Kazuchi, Counter Blast 2, Unflip a Copy, I mean, I like the idea of the already Check Top 4, Add 2 Tan, Put 2 on Bottom. More draw power, more stacking. Two Wakime, I would like to up this to four by taking out the next two on the list, but that would mean I haven't got a very decent one. That would mean my first stride would have to be that, and I'd have to hope I can soul charge a Tsukiyomi. Anyway, this one's perfect for because it's when it attacks, counter blast one, soul blast one, unflip a copy. Draw a card and then put a card on top of your deck. So if you know the next card on top of your deck ain't a trigger, you can draw it and then put, say, a crit back or even a heal if you need it late game. That's why I would like to put this up to four, hopefully. Next up is a nine headed dragon king. Counter blast one at the end of battle, this attacks a vanguard. You may pay the cost cho and choose up to three cards from your hand, shuffle them back into your deck and draw up any card. cards. You don't really want to use this because, like I said, you're setting up your stack. Unless you've really forgot it and messed up, you don't want to use it. This one ain't too bad. It is Soaring Auspicious Beast Kirin. When the attack hits, check top two, add one to hand, put one to bottom of your deck. So, a bit more digging, but not really fast enough once it's into stride. Finally, I run four Ichibiyoshi G guards. Normally, you have enough cards in hand that you get the plus five, but sometimes you won't. And well, since you're running four heals, might as well run four G guards. And that's the profile everyone. I hope you liked, and I'll see you guys next time.